Game dev is funny sometimes, you know. If you want to have a few small boats and larger ships in your game and you want them to bob up and down, draw and roll with waves like actual boats and ships do, you could go and understand buoyancy and how it works, set up a physics simulation, calculate which parts is in the water and how the up and down forces interact and get a more or less accurate simulation. Or you can just fake it with a bit of really simple math. Because you already know that your boat floats, uh, that's kind of the definition of it, so all you really need is that it reacts to waves and moves about. So I made this really simple script, which samples the water height at four points, the bow, stern, port and starboard for the ship, I've named them front, back, left and right because landlubbers like me want to understand it, then do a bit of approximate math to rotate the whole boat around its center pivot and be done with it. A couple variables to tweak it, so light boats swim with every wave and big ships sit more sturdy and just ride through smaller waves. Done. I'll put a link to the code into the description. Here's how it works. Create your ship parent object and attach this script. Put your actual ship mesh as a child object. Set up the detection points, gizmos will show you where they are. Adjust the parameters until you like it. The dynamic parameters make the ship react more or less quickly to waves. Low values for large and heavy ships, larger values, so higher dynamic, for small and light boats. Set the height offset to however high or low on the water you want your ship to ride. And that's it. No, it's not a perfect simulation. And here's why I do it this way. 1. It's a hell of a lot easier. 2. I can tweak it easily, so it looks the way I want it to look. 3. Because it's so simple, there's no chance for a complex physics simulation to do strange things that I don't understand why it does them. So, yes, game dev is funny sometimes. You don't need to do things properly, it just needs to be good enough for the game you're making and make the players happy. Go and make it.